Hello once again gamers, welcome to Cruznik's Purgatory. I'm your host Cruznik X, alongside me the beautiful Arya Stormborn. Aw, shut up, babe. And this is it, the the grand Stormblood finale to Path of the Bard. Let's take a look at the facts. At the Sanson has been kidnapped by a mysterious group that is led by none other than uh, Nor Norval, um, who wishes to see the alliance between the Alamegans and the Gridanians crushed. Um, thankfully for us, the damning evidence is with Gidolo. But will we be able to save Sanson and be able to reveal the truth in a proper manner? Well, all answers will be revealed in the level 70 quest, Sweet Dreams Are Made of Peace. Let's get to it. Good timing, Chris. Good timing, Chris. Norval's demands have just arrived at the Adder's Nest. In exchange for Sanson's freedom, we're to release the contents of Gilbard's journal to the public. Bastard won't be satisfied until all Gridanians hate all Alamegan's guts. The Brat's hats are deliberating a course of action as we speak. Not much we can do now, but wait. Command has made its de command has made its decision. You will not wish to hear this, but the order rejects Norval's demands. He and his band are to be summarily eliminated. What? H hold on, just a second. You won't even try to negotiate Sanson's release. As a nation, we cannot bow to acts of intimidation. I'm afraid negotiation was never an option. And here I must repeat the order for you to relinquish the journal at once. So what you're saying is, you're abandoning Sanson! You're gonna let him die! Here's the great Vangelon, hero to all Gridanians, but you won't even lend an ear to his descendant! Oh no, instead you choose the easy way out! Just kill everyone, even your own man! Wash away the bloody past with more blood! Just to be clear, I ain't siding with Norval. There's no excusing his method. But there's no excusing yours either! It's bullshit, that's what it is! I have lost faith in the Order. Now, now, pray do not be so quick to despair, for I was simply relaying the outcome of Command's deliberation, a deliberation in which the Elder Seedseer had no part. As you say, Gidolo, the orders are bullshit. Not the words I would have chosen, but you speak the truth nonetheless, and I for one have no intention of abiding by them. The decision was largely influenced by a small handful of our leadership, and not the boldest handful, if I may add. Tis plain from the fact that they did not think to bring the matter before the Elder Seedseer. Captain Smith is a dear comrade, like you. I would spare no f, like you, I would spare no aid in any effort to rescue him. And I am pleased to say that we are not alone in this sentiment. As a matter of fact, I have already reached out to my Lancer and Archer acquaintances, and they stand ready to aid our cause. Uh oh, now we're talking! There's still hope for the Order if it has good blokes like you, Vorsi. I would thank you not to call me that. Now, the Order will move as soon as they ascertain the enemy's location, so time is of the essence. Gidolo, Pray, take word of these developments to Jehantel.
Meanwhile, Chris, I need you to bear word to two to the two guild masters, Lucian and Yorain. Ah, the old guild master. Tell them that the time is nigh, and pray return here swiftly. All right. That I like to hear. All right. Let's start with the Archer's Guild since it's closest. Long time no see, Lucien. The time is nigh, then. Very well. We shall make ready to depart at once. When the call came, full many here offered their bows. There is not a soul here who knows not of you and Jahantal and Gidolo. Together, let us rescue Sanson. Yawain owes me a little favor, I believe, so... Let's hit the Lancers Guild. Aye, well, Cell has briefed me on the situation. Sanson once trained in these very halls, and I should like to hear his excuse for being captured so easily. At any rate, you may count on our lances. That Sanson was one of our own is reason enough. This request comes from both you and my longtime friend, Vorsail himself. Alright. Back to the Adder's Nest, I think. Yeah. Yep, back to the Adder's Nest. <coughs> there you are, and not a moment too soon. Things have begun to move. Our scouts report that Norval and his band have since returned to the Twelves Wood. They may have made their they have made their lair in the North Shroud, near the shards of Dalamud. Even as we speak, the Order mobilizes a unit for an assault. We must be there ahead of them. Set out at once and make first for Alder Springs. I shall instruct the others to join you there. I will remain here to stall our forces as long as I can. Godspeed. Alder Springs is Oh, right. right. Fall Gord. All right. Let's ride. Here we are. Mm. All right, mm. let's get right down to it. Whew. We're ahead of the Twin Adder now. Let's keep it that way and get right to work. Our guild friends will take down the sentries and secure the area. We're free to get close to Norval and give him the thrashing he deserves. Works for me. Let's do it. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Well, well. I was not expecting you to. Here to deliver the Gridanian's answer, are we? You wish, you craven horseman. Whatever your demands are, it ain't got nothing to do with us. So you're acting alone? I thought you had some wits. Or do you care that little for your friend? Kill Sanson before you get your answer, and the deals are off, and all deals are off. Everything you've worked for up in smoke. Or do you care that little for your goal? Hmm. <laughs> Mayhap you have some wits after all. But clever though your ploy may be, have you the strength to back it up? Oh, don't you worry on that score. We're gonna knock you around so hard all the scales will fall from your eyes. And if that ain't enough to make you see clay, I'll even slap in a song! Something lively to wake you up from your misguided beliefs! Let's rock! I will suffer none to stand in the way of my ambition! Your ambition's shite, and we're gonna make sure you see sense, even if it means beating your senses. A nice place for this. Hmm. You're strong, but I cannot fall. Not until my goal is realized. Ugh. He's got spirit. I'll give him that. But so do we. And we ain't gonna take it lying down. Time to fire things up with a song. Enough with that detestable noise! Gah! I... I can't move! Break me out of this, Chris! Stubborn fools! If you are so eager for death, I will give it to you! What's this now? Keep your guard up! Seven hells! Spread out or screw us both! And duty complete. That was easy.
Not so fast. <laughs> nice try. Yeah, you're surrounded, motherfucker. Why? Why do you not understand? Why do you not see the Alamegans for the filth they are? Let each beer be trust for everlasting peace. Let each eh. Whoa. Did not. I did not even get to see. Let each spear be thrust for everlasting peace. Let each arrow be loosed for the forest and the trees. And the greatest rule of all, for all men to embrace. Let each life be lived for smiles on every face. That, that song, how do you know it? I learned it just recently. With a spot of help from Jahantel here. He showed me Vainchalon's grave, which I understand your family's been tending for generations. The song was engraved on the headstone. It's a fine piece. It ain't hard to see why your ancestor loved it. Taking up arms that we might have peace, so the words go. Words that came from Vainchalon himself, as a matter of fact. The Autumn War gave birth to a good many anthems, and a good many of them borrowed his words. Take a look, and you'll notice a recurring theme. Peace and harmony. How dare you preach of me to my ancestor! For generations, my family has sought justice for Lord Vangelon. You couldn't possibly comprehend our pain! Not us, perhaps. But I dare say your great-grandsire, Lord Landernel, could comprehend it better than any man. He witnessed his own sire murdered before his eyes. He knew the painful truth, yet he chose to keep it a secret. Why was this, do you suppose? It was because he knew that, above all else... His sire desired peace. Had it been made known that their hero was struck down by treachery, ordinary Gridanians would not have been satisfied with protecting their homes. Nay, they would have demanded justice. They would have demanded blood. The war would have raged on, leaving yet more death and destruction in its wake. And the peace that Lord Vainchalon dreamed of would have gone up in smoke. Knowing this, Lord Landrenel. Spare me your lies! Lord Vainchalon desired Alamigo's destruction! You cannot tell me otherwise! Tell me, young man. Did it not strike you as odd that I knew of Lord Vainchalon's grave? That which your family has kept secret all these years? The explanation is simple. I had the honor of knowing Lord Landronel. <laughs> like you, he admired Lord Vangelon and everything he stood for. And what he stood for, first of all, was peace and harmony. If you would honor both their memories, you would do well to honor these ideals. No, Th this cannot be. My ancestors despised Alamegans. Yes, they all did. If not, everything I've labored for, all the blood and tears, have been for naught. I ask not that you forgive, but know that neither will we forget. When the time is right, 
I will see to it that all know of Lord Vainshalon's great sacrifice. This I swear in Norfica's name. I ask only that you believe, as your ancestors fervently did, in a brighter future, one of our own shaping, undarkened by shadows of the past. Ah, what a satisfying conclusion. All right. Worry not, Chris. I am quite well. Thanks to you and Gidolo, it ended with only a few cuts and bruises. But am it, but ere I may rest, I must see to one last task. Making good on my promise to Norval. Come, let us return to the Adder's Nest. Yes, let's. It has been a long and winding road. I just want to see. Okay. Oh, yeah. Da, 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 ya, da, ya, da, 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 My apologies for keeping you waiting, Commander. I have Gilbard's journal with me, and I will surrender it on one condition. Once the veracity of the tome's contents is ascertained, the Order must make the truth public knowledge when the time is right. On this, we are of a mind, Captain Smith. Not only will I relay your terms to our leaders, I will speak strongly in favor of them. But know that mine is but one voice, and more shall be needed if we are to strengthen our cause. As such, you must rise through the ranks swiftly to stand with me. St stand with you? I fear it will take me a while to attain that honor. To be fooled and taken captive so easily, I am still green as summer grass. "'Tis true that the success of this mission is owed much to Chris, "'and you would do well to give him your profuse thanks. "'However, I suggest that you also give yourself some more credit. "'You may have much to learn, but you will learn them in good time. "'This time you were faced with numerous trials, "'yet you did not accomplish your mission in spite of them. "'Yet did you not accomplish your mission in spite of them? "'Aye!' Listen to Vorsi. We came back with the tome. No one can say we didn't do our jobs. Look at you. A bit of praise in your a stunned moment. That won't do it all. If you're going to shape the future of our nation, you're going to have to shape up. You are right, Gidolo. From leading our unit to fulfilling my promise to Norval, much rests upon my shoulders. Come what may, I will ever stand tall and forge on. Chris, I must needs go file. I must needs go to file my report. But ere I leave, allow me to offer you my heartfelt thanks 
not only for your invaluable aid, but for being an example to me. By following your lead, I shall strive to be the best leader I can be. That my unit song might one day serve to rouse all Gridania. And off he goes. Good that he's hale and hearty at any rate. I'll stick with Sunson for a while. Make sure he don't tear open any stitches. In the meantime, would you go and let Jahantel know we we're returned? I'll be along myself soon enough. But speaking of the old man, to think that he knew Vangelon's son. You don't get to that age and not rub shoulders with a legend or two, eh? <laughs> Ain't that the goddamn truth? All right, our last stop, Quarry Mill. All right. Let's ride. There we go. I see. My thanks for bearing word. Though Santan and Gidolo may not have endeared themselves to the twin added leadership, they have found a stout ally in Commander Helwa. You, I cannot pronounce that. I must say, it truly stirs the spirit to see the younger generation blaze a new path. And I pray that Norval, too, will find his own path to walk. One that is paved not with hatred, but with hope. That leads to peace, both in the world and in his heart. Tis what his ancestors would have wished. In him I see them, and it calls to my mind my day spent learning bow and song under his great-grandsire, a kindly old man who tirelessly tended his father's grave, never forgetting the ideals he stood for. Somewhere along L Lord Vainchalon's line, those ideals had faded away, but thanks to you and yours, they may yet be restored and made bolder still by a true remembrance of the past. And the word and the world shall be a better place for it. And with that, we have completed the Path of the Bard. With it, first and foremost, the fervent desire to aid your comrades awakens a new melody, Refulgent Arrow. With it, we've also achieved the achievement a Bard's Tale 3, which gives us a brand new title. Let's break it out for all, for all the world to see. Oh, whoops, I can't apply glamour plates here. Uh, it's probably... Oh, that worked too. Okay, um, here we are, A Bard's Tale 3. So I am now Chris Valentine of the True Autumn. No, I'm going to change it back to Garo, because I've still got work to do in PvP, so we'll see what happens. Um, but also, in light of this new achievement, we've also got some new gear. First, let me check the armory chest to see that there's enough space for all the pieces. And now, we can open the Storyteller's Attire Coffer. With it, we have received the following items. For pants, we have the Storyteller's Bottoms. For shoes, the Storyteller's Boots. For chest gear, we have the Storyteller's Coat. The Storyteller's Gloves for hand gear. For headgear, the Storyteller's Chapeau. 
And last but not least, last but not least for the antic for the relic weapon, we have the antiquated fail -nault. And with the exception of the hat, this outfit does not look half bad. And I don't mind the bow as much. Though I am gonna... What's wrong with the... What? What's wrong with the hat? The hat looks just like scruffy and whatnot. It looks like you're at the strength of spears. Yeah, my level 50 looked better than that. No. What? I can have my opinion. No, no, you're not allowed, didn't you, Anyways. Oh, come on, you don't want to I know. I actually like the bow. The bow's pretty nice. The bow is awesome. Alright, but with that the being... Maybe has one too many feathers, but... Well, the good thing is we can always hide headgear. <sighs> but with that being said, that concludes the Path of the Bard for Stormblood. I'm, lo I'm somewhat looking forward to the next expansion that comes out in a few weeks at the time of this recording. Um... And we'll see how Bard progresses and changes because there's a lot of changes in the new expansion. And uh, we will talk about that some other time. But when next we go live, we will be moving on to more and more paths. We will be o reopening the Path of the Black Mage next. And it's going to prove to be a very interesting fight. Um, but with that being said, that concludes the path, that concludes this episode of Kruznik's Purgatory and the Path of the Bard for Stormblood. A special thank you to Arya Stormborn for joining us. You're welcome, man. And thank you all for watching, I hope you all enjoyed the show. As always, if you're watching this on Twitch or live at PlayStation and you like this show, click the follow button and be sure to turn on notifications so you're informed of all of my videos and live streams the moment they premiere. If you're watching this on YouTube and you like this video, click the like button below and leave a comment. Subscribe to my channel by clicking here. Click here to watch more by me. Click here to watch the previous episode and click here to watch the next episode of Path of the Bard when it comes out in the next expansion. Until next time, Cruzagex! Signing out.